Carajo. Hello, my Pisces friends. Guiding Halo here. I hope you're all doing well. We have a little visitor for your reading today. My Virgo kitty named Freya. A fierce warrior she is, transmuting all the energy for us here. What do we have coming in? Money, finance, and career week of the 15th to the 22nd for my Pisces friends. Wow, this card keeps coming out. Queen of Earth, thoughtful, creative, warm, sensible. Everybody's focusing on money in a very loving way. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. A significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. It's time to spread your wings. Making money in a new way. Wow, and we have the death card at the bottom here. Absolute transformation. The end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation. Time to move on. So you're deciding to let something go. Let something change. Let something transform. I don't know that it's... it's uh, I feel as though there's a tower moment in realization that something no longer is feasible. Yeah, walking away from the confusion. There's some sort of illusion that's been holding you up. Perhaps a belief set about money, a belief set about what you deserve, what you desire. You want happiness. You're walking towards your Nine of Cups. I wonder if someone's walking away from an addiction of some sort. We have good news coming in. I think this good news very well could help you walk away from a time that's been incredibly confusing for you. An illusionary time between the 13th and 16th of August, I would say. Taking an absolute leap of faith. There's good news coming in. You want to take a leap of faith, perhaps bring some communication forward. But you're apprehensive as about how to do it whether to invest perhaps maybe even moving taking a leap of faith to move home residence whatever it is someone is going to also i feel take a leap of faith to communicate with somebody perhaps there's been a pause in in communication with a person but that may be coming back around we have sagittarius virgo taurus capricorn scorpio energy Looking at where to invest next, I almost feel as though if you're you're wanting to take a leap of faith to invest in something, it will absolutely be a significant significant life event. There's a powerful revelation coming to you about how it is you invest, what you invest in, and who you invest in. There could be an ending or a tower moment surrounding a cancer. Uh, something that you thought you knew or you were putting one foot in front of the other moving forward. There's a, a change, an absolute transformation coming in where that's concerned. Scorpio energy. Cancer energy. I feel as though this could be the mother of your children or uh, perhaps your mother and you are the child. So there's more going on here than meets the eye. Something that you're not aware of based on family legacy or that someone left to you. There is a gift coming to you from the divine. It's almost as if angelically given that brings about a stability in finances. There's a, a, it's coming as a tower moment, so you don't see this happening. I wonder if this is an inheritance or uh, something coming you were just putting one foot in front of the other, living your life. And when this money comes in, you're able to really create moving forward. Someone could also have a tower moment that leads to a massive transformation in what you do for work. Looking at your options as you move forward. There's that illusion I was sensing, feeling like you want to walk away from the illusion. So is it you walk away from illusion in one area of your life? And then because you walk away from the illusion there, you start to see how it's been playing out in all areas of your life. That's very interesting. 
the tower moment perhaps is realizing the illusion is across every area of your life, not just money, finance, and career, or what you base your uh, foundation on emotionally. Wow, the Ace of Pentacles. Oh yeah, this is a big new opportunity you don't see coming. This is huge. This is what's offered to you based on all the hard work you've done so far. This Ace of Pentacles does not come easily. This is a journey you've been on to get yourself to a point of this coming up for you, coming towards you, straight handed to you from the hand of the divine, built and grounded in this earth. This is amazing. And I'm going to tell you, it is a gift. It's coming through for you. It's going to be a tower moment because you don't even see it. You don't even see it. What's grounding this reading, please, in the energy? What's grounding the reading? Six of Swords, moving away from a difficult thought process and a difficult time mentally. I feel as though you've walked away from something emotionally. It ends a mental turmoil, which helps you move upwards and onwards mentally, uh, bringing you more clarity in your mind what it is you want to create, what it is you want to do, clarity on how to bring a transformation about. Something is morphing into a brand new state of awareness, a brand new, something's morphing into a brand new, I wonder if someone's going to be given a division of their own at work or something. Moving away from difficult waters into calm waters, realizing that the painful manipulation is over. No longer feeling like you have to manipulate, just offered something based on the, the beautiful energy you are. Crowning the reading, we have fighting for what it is you desire, protecting what you've created, having courage, believing in yourself, defending your beliefs and your decisions. This is what you're heading towards, defending who you are, why you want what you want. And in doing so, there's a tower moment that brings in an absolute gift. I tell you that much, as it is right now, my friends, for you, it's graduation day. The end of an absolute cycle in your life, possibly a 27, 25, 26 year cycle. 29 year cycle, even. It's got to do something with Saturn in your chart. Someone could be having a Saturn return. Anyways, regardless, there's a new cycle opening up for you. This is graduation day. You don't have to go through this anymore. It's over. It's done. You figured it out. You've got this. And as that happens in divine timing, this new opportunity comes directly towards you. I feel there was a need for you to stand up and defend your beliefs and your decisions, or there is a need for you to do so. And as this tower moment happens, perhaps if you're the one creating it, uh, opportunity comes your way based on the truth you've, you've dealt with and, and standing your ground. Not easy for my Pisces friends to do a lot of times. What's the energy to keep in mind on the left-hand side, taking a sleep of faith? Life force is flowing. Open yourself to receive the power from within. Well, this is power from within all day long. So, not surprising, that card is out there. Tell me about this tower moment. Absolute money, finance, career, stability coming in. Looking at your options about how to manifest it, not seeing it come, and then all of a sudden it's as if your life is transformed. Love, how beautiful is that? Listen to your heart. Embrace what makes you happy. There are one million reasons to love. Is there some sort of forgiveness here? Forgiving yourself? Forgiving others? Letting it all go? Releasing it? An angel coming along to help you release something that's been incredibly a very very long journey quest be bold and mighty forces will aid you take action good luck favors the brave so there's something that divine is calling you to this week that is going to bring out a massive end of a cycle because of your bravery and standing on your truth it's also going to bring in a new financial a way to make money uh, some sort of financial stability the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. You have absolutely ended the cycle. I love you guys. I hope this resonates. Blessings to you.